Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. I know y'all haven't seen me in a while. I haven't been posting like the way I usually do. But, you know, there's a lot going on. There's been a lot going on, you know, with the homeschooling. A lot of y'all that, that I talk to through email and stuff like that. A lot of y'all know what's really, really going on and what's, you know, been going on in my life. Basic stuff, I guess, what everybody else been going through, right? The quarantine, everybody's stuck in the house, uh, doing homeschool. You know, and then us moms just being stuck in the house with the kids all day. You know, a lot of y'all moms, y'all know how that is. And um, so that's why I'm doing this video today because I wanted to do a little bit of talking. So this is going to be like a little chit chat video today. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all like it. All right. So today we're going to talk about us moms that are just at home homeschooling. I'm not just at home. I'm working too. So that's why it's took its toll on me, you know. Well, not take its toll on me, but that's why I haven't had a chance to really film, you know, film like the way I want film, film. Yeah, you know I'm talking about. I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna, I'm edit a little bit, but I'm gonna leave everything else in there. Um, about what we all been going through, man. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube saying that you know they haven't been feeling themselves. They've been going through a lot. You know, and a lot of us, we really don't speak up and we really don't talk about our problems. I'm not saying personal problems because I'm not having, like, marriage problems or anything like that. I'm just having, like, issues with, like, just being stuck in the house, you know? Like, just being confined in, in, in this little place, you know, for so many months. You know, it was hard to transition, how you say, tradition, transi transition and to just being stuck in the house to when we're going out every single weekend we were out every weekend my kids got out of school fridays we were out and about on saturdays we were out and about on sundays we were out and about you know and like ever since this stuff's been going on it's like we've been just stuck in the house you know there was that one point where i was like i've never felt i mean i've always since i was young i've always been scared of when it rains you know bad weather um violence you know stuff like that like fighting and stuff like that it's always made me a wreck and always made my nerves really really bad like i'm the type of girl where i get in the car i lock the doors i feel like somebody's gonna come they're gonna try to jump in my truck like that's how paranoid i get and you know a lot of times you know my husband tells me you know jackie just relax you know you're about the wrong thing but you know i've just been having so much in my mind you know like like I said, with the kids stuff and then me working and then us just staying in. We can't do nothing. The kids are tired of being inside. They're pulling each other's hair out. You know what I'm talking about? I know I'm not the only one going through this. I know there's a lot of people going through this. You know? And a lot of us, we just keep it in and we just say stress and, you know, not really, really talk about it. You know? And I just, you know, long story short, I went to this video just to let, it's going to be a small little video, just to let all the moms know that, you know, we're all strong. We'll all get through it. You know, yeah, I was having a first three days of virtual learning. It was only three days last week, you know, and it was really, really hard. But, you know, I got through it. And then I had to, like, take a step back and tell myself, like, look, you know, we're not the only ones going through. The teachers are, too, you know, because it's something new they have to learn, you know. And then I've seen a lot of parents get on the virtual learning on the on the screens because, you know, it's through Zoom. They're getting on the screens. They're cussing and cussing and cussing. And there's kids on the screens, you know? And then I tell my husband, I'm like, you know, I, I don't respect that. I don't think the parents should be acting like that. I think that's just ridiculous. I, I don't I don't like that. Like, you don't have to act like that, you know? If you're getting frustrated with it, just get off for the day or take a break or something. I, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's ways around that, right? Don't just start, you know, saying cuss words and there's a lot of kids online. But, you know, whatever. Everybody does their own thing, you know? I can't really say nothing. I was just, like, shocked. But, you know... Like I was saying, you know, um, we're not the only ones going through it. The teachers and stuff are too. It's it's a change for a lot of us. You know, it's crazy because my third grade son, my third grader, um, his teacher, I was helping her to learn how to like share the screens on Zoom because she didn't even know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. I figured it out. And I'm like, well, hey, look, can we do this? And I could show you what we're doing on, on from our end. And she's like, yeah, let's try it. We tried it. And she you knows she's like, oh, my God, Jackie, you taught me. And I'm like, well. I taught you, you're teaching me, you know, and that's what I really, really love about my kids' teachers because, guys, my kids' teachers, my all my kids have had them, even down to my 10th grader. Like, we, we've been in these same schools since my kids started school. Well, not my oldest one, but all my smallest ones. My oldest one, he did start in this district um, when he was, like, 9, 10? Yeah, like 10. 
So, um, you know, I know all the teachers and everybody, you know, tries to have patience. Even though I've seen the teachers too where they're like, oh my God, you're not getting it. Or you're not the other parents because the other parents are getting mad, frustrated. Nobody wants to help each other. You know, they're just like, oh my God. I've seen kids online, like teens and high schoolers and stuff and middle schoolers, you know, they're online helping their brother and sister get their their work done too. But, you know, they have their own work at the end of the day too. Because my son, he is in 10th grade. And he stays on his laptop all day, too, like, you know, in there, in the meetings. Where he's getting out for, like, 10 minutes and goes into the next class. He does, like, eight classes on, seven or eight classes online. And tomorrow is going to be his first time going up to the school for a band. That's another thing, guys. See what I'm saying? This is, what I, this is why I wanted to do this video. I just want all y'all to know you're not the only ones going through stuff. All of us are. All of us are. But we have to stay strong. At the end of the day, us mommies, you know, our kids, they they, they look up to us and they're like, I'm not saying they don't cherish the dads, right? But the kids, they're really, really close to their moms. And we got to be the strong ones for everybody, right? Even not for the husband. Because the husband's got like babies too, you know? So we become babying them too. It's our fault. But you know it is what it is. You know, all y'all that have husbands, y'all know y'all do whatever you have to do, you know? So it's like, you have to take care of your husband. You got to take care of your kids, you know? And it's a lot. But I'm going to tell you right now, I get it done. Like, I could be drained out, but then I take a second. And I'm like, you know what? I have to get this done. I have no choice. Like, I got to get up at 5 o'clock. I have no choice. Like, you know, I got to get up, get all my kids in the shower, help everybody do their work, get everybody's work done. And I do it, guys. Let me tell y'all. I think that's why I be so drained at the end of the day because I'm like being super mom. Like my mom says, mom, mom. My husband, he's like, honey, you're always being super mom or whatever. I don't see it being super mom, to be honest. I just feel like that's... That's what I have to do. I'm not trying to get no trophies for anything like that. I just do what I have to do for my kids, you know? I just want them to have a better life than what I did. I'm not saying I had a bad life, but I could have had it better when it came to education and staying in school, you know, being involved, you know, in certain sports and stuff in the school. Even though when I was in middle school, I was a soccer player. But that's a whole other story. But, you know, I want my kids to do good. And, you know, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow's going to be my son's first day going back to the school for band practice. I didn't want this. I didn't want to do this, but I have to, guys. He's been in band since sixth grade. And um, I can't take him out now. He's already in 10th grade, you know? I, I, I can, but if all y'all know, band is really, really, that's where the scholarships are at. And my son, he's so good in it. He's so good in it. Right now, he's he's in top band. Like, he's in top band. That's how good my son is. Like, he's playing with, like, 11th graders. 12th graders like he's good so you know i don't want to take him out i told my husband you know what let's just give it a chance let's, let's let them go to practice tomorrow you know just all we have to do is just pray guys that they wear their mask and they do what they have to do you know i don't want to pull them out i thought about pulling him out you know i thought about pulling them out because i don't want him to go but i'm like man i can't just pull him out he done he done work really really hard for this for this band i don't know if they're doing it in any other districts but i know if you're in any sports or in you're in any band, uh, if you're in any sports or you're in band, choir, whatever, stuff like that, you have to go up to the school to do the practices. See, I didn't know that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we didn't know this this was going to happen, right? I, we would never knew this was going to happen. We are going to be out of school and we are going to have to be teaching our kids from home. You know, none of us knew. This is something new for all of us. And like I said, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, my God, I'm so stressed out. There's so much going on. I don't know what to think no more and this and that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I've been feeling the same way. Like, y'all might see me come online. I'm always laughing and joking with everybody. Y'all all know that I'm always coming online, you know, doing googly eyes and, you know, being funny with everybody. I'm just, like, a happy, really funny person. I like being funny, guys. And I think y'all know that already. I just like being funny and I like joking around and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, there's a lot of us that walk around with big old smiley faces, but, we you know, we're going through it, you know? And I'm not saying that I, I can't sit here and say that I don't because I do. There's a lot of times that I do and I'm just like, oh, my God, you know, like I need a break. But, you know, I have small kids. And like I said, I got I got to take a step back and tell myself, like, you know what? I have no choice. I got to get this done, like whether I like it or not. So just be happy with it and make it fun. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, OK, to add myself up, like, you know, make it fun and just do what you have to do because you got to do it you got to get out the way so just do it you know so yeah you know i want everybody to stay positive and you know we will get past this i know i know everybody done heard this we're gonna get past it yeah i know everybody's tired of hearing about all this stuff that's going on i'm tired of even talking about it to be honest with you 
I'm just wanting to do this little video real quick just to post because I want everybody to know that, you know, we all go through it. And we all walk around with smiley faces and nobody never knows what someone is going through. They might be smiling and looking all happy and joyful. And in reality, you don't know what they're going through. You know, they could be going through something. You'll never know. And that's like me. I could sit on here and smile and joke around and y'all won't even know that I'm going through it. Y'all won't even know that, you know, I'm having anxiety and, I, you know, I'm just like going crazy don't even know because good thing that i have a husband and like no lie he would go out there with the kids and he'll tell me like jackie just go to the room go to sleep for a little bit you know like just relax you need a nap but i'm like yeah i need a nap you need a nap too like we both need naps <laughs> you know so that's one thing i can say about my husband no lie because i could be cleaning and he sees that i'm tired and he'll start cleaning like i might be lying guys i don't i don't trust here and brag or anything about my husband makes that he's this perfect man in the world because he's not he could be a jerk just like everybody else's husband you know, not a jerk like that, but you know how the dads are, you know, the dads are with the kids and us moms are ah, trying to save the kids, you know, even though we know the kids are acting, not acting good. So, you know, I, uh, I like to give my husband his props when it comes to stuff like that, because you don't find a lot of husbands that'll be sitting out here mopping and bathing the kids. He brushes my daughter's hair if I, if I can, which that hardly happens because I always make sure my kid, my girls and everybody's good, you know? My nails are painted. My girl's nails are painted. I'm always on top of everything. Like I said, girls, guys, it's not being super mom. That's just the way I am. I just do everything for my kids. That's just that's just me. It makes me happy and it makes my day. So I'm just like, you know what? If I don't mind sitting right here just playing with my kids, then why you bother? You know? These are my kids and I want to spend as much time as I can with them. Because all of our kids are getting older and they're a little bit not even want to be by us no more. They can be like, mom, you're annoying and go to their room. You know, like my teen. He don't tell me I'm annoying or anything like that, but, you know, he, he likes being to himself and stuff now. He like he don't like being in the camera. He don't like when we record him. He's just like, Mom, don't record me. I literally have to get him off guard and stuff, you know? My little ones, they're ready to get the camera, especially my, my, my daughter, the nine-year-old. She's ready to grab the camera and start filming herself, dancing, singing, everything. So, you know, right now if they're little, we got to enjoy them, right? And so I, I do. I enjoy every little moment with my kids, and that's that's what it's all about to me. I don't know about everybody else, you know. But that's what it's about to me is my family, you know, being with my kids, being there for my kids, being here and supportive for my husband. You know, like I said, we're not perfect, but I can tell you something right now that, you know, me and my husband, we get by and we do what we have to do for our kids and we make it our business because we have, you know, we have our kids and we got to be strong. We got to talk through stuff. We have to let stuff go, even though we don't want to let it go. And we have to just move on for it, from it, you know. So, yeah, I just want all y'all moms to know that they are really, really strong. Y'all stay strong. You're not the only ones that's going through it. Just because y'all see me leaving comments and stuff on y'all's videos and googly eyes and, you know, being all funny and jokey doesn't mean I'm happy every time. Because trust me, I told, I told a lot of y'all that I want to pull my hair out because I'm stressing because of this um, virtual learning stuff, you know. So, you know, you're not the only ones going through it. I just want all y'all to just know that. And, um... I'm waiting for some spec speckle. You see? <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna edit this part. I'm waiting for some special goodies that I ordered from two different people, and then I want a giveaway that I've never opened that it's still packaged right there. Guys, I saw one of my friends and she knows who she is. She did a video and she she uh did like a vlog of her cleaning her bathroom closet, her bathroom drawers. And she has stuff in there with in bags full of brand new stuff. That's me. If I will go through all my drawers, I'm pretty sure I'll find a lot of stuff that I thought I didn't, ha I didn't have. And I buy double and buy double and buy double. Okay, why did I bring that up? All right, I forgot. Why did I bring that up? All right, I had to take a second. Now I know why I brought that up. I said because the packages, right? I won a giveaway from Crystal Girl. You know who you are, Crystal. I want to give away from her and I never opened it. It's been in my drawer and I purchased some charm bracelets. Y'all know I love charm bracelets. I mean, it's not a charm, but it's a, it's a diamond bracelet. Anyways, this lady that I've seen that I'm a friend on YouTube, she makes those bracelets. She puts a lot of different charm stuff on them. Anyways, I'm waiting for those and I'm waiting for another special charm. I want to get some charms. And Steffi Camacho, I'm coming for you. Stephanie Camacho, if I'm not mistaken. Because I want some of your... My earring fell out. Sorry, guys. 
I want some of your glasses and I'm gonna get some. I just haven't had a really chance to, but I'm gonna get to you, girl. Trust me. I always see Denise wearing them and I love them. Those are some pretty, pretty glasses. So, yeah, girls, stay strong and yeah, see you on the next video. Yeah, this is crazy. Can't believe that shit, fool. Like that.